Dash is a proper benchmark for a balanced hybrid scheme. Crystal Hybrid 7525 Conservative Index Crystal Hybrid 2575 Aggressive Index Crystal Hybrid 5050 Moderate Index Dash is a proper benchmark for balanced hybrid. This Crystal Hybrid 5050 Crystal Blended Indices for Hybrid Funds Aggressive Fund 2575 Balanced Hybrid Fund, Crystal Hybrid 50-50 Moderate Index. <coughs> conservative Hybrid Fund, Crystal Hybrid 75 plus 25 is Conservative Index. Long Duration Debt Scheme, Invest in Debt Instrument with Macaulay Duration of 1 to 3 years, 1 year, 7 years, more 6 to 12 months, which is greater than 7 years. When the asset allocation is maintained as a constant ratio by regular rebalancing a portfolio is known as dynamic, flexible, fixed or variable asset allocation. It is fixed asset allocation. For which of these documents is the time sampling mandatory? Payment instruments, application form, transaction slip for buying additional unit, both for application form and transaction slip and payment instruments, both. Segregated portfolio means a portfolio which is kept aside for a rainy day. A portfolio which is created out of debt or money market securities affected by credit event. A portfolio which is left after removing poor quality credit papers. It's number two, the portfolio which is created out of debt or money market securities affected by credit event. What is the purpose of credit enhancements in case of securities? transacted. It's higher credit worthiness. Banks and NBFCs can lead lend money against dash of mutual fund, against the pledge of mutual fund. Whom should the investor approach if he complain is not resolved by AMC? It's SEBI. Inflation risk is also referred to as credit risk, liquidity risk, purchasing power risk, purchasing power risk. Which of these statement is false? If an investor holds his investment in debt fund for more than three years, the capital gain will be considered as long term capital gain. As the purchase and repurchase is done with mutual fund, the investor does not have to pay any capital gains. Second one is uh, wrong. Purchase and repurchase investor is be considered as capital gain. Long term capital gains is not taxed in which of these funds? Balanced fund, balanced advantage fund, diversified equity fund. Capital gains from all type of mutual fund are taxed subject to certain conditions the fourth is the right answer in whose beneficial interest is mutual fund managed unit holders the loss book from a debt investment of 15 months can be set off against loss book from debt instrument of 15 months is a short term capital loss so it can be set off against short term or long term capital gains. Which of these statement is false? While evaluating scheme the expense ratio will matter much in debt equity debt fund than equity fund. A mutual fund with long track record is always better for investment as it would give higher returns in the future. This is wrong. 
which of these statements are false. While evaluating scheme, expense ratio will matter much more in debt fund than in equity fund. A mutual fund with long track record is always better for reinvestment as it would give higher returns in the future. Ultra short term debt fund always invest in high credit quality debt securities. B and C are false. Reason Any cost is a drag on investors' returns. Investors need to particularly be careful about the cost structure of the debt scheme because normal course debt returns can be much lower than the equity schemes. So the expense ratio is more critical for debt fund. Ultra short term debt scheme invest in debt and money market instrument with peculiar duration between 3 to 6 months. Which of these is a physical asset? Real estate. A mutual fund scheme is said to become dividend from date the dividend are announced till it is paid. The expenses which can be charged by an asset management company to mutual fund schemes are limited by SEBI. What is the portfolio of a fund of fund? It's mutual fund. Identify the true statement. While calculating scheme returns for an investor, if there is an entry load, then the initial value of the net asset value is taken as NAV minus entry load. While calculating scheme returns for an investor, if there is an exit load, then the later value of the net asset is taken as NAV minus exit load. Number two is right. Identify the true statement. A mutual fund scheme with a beta of less than one is less risky than the market. A diversified stock index has a beta of one. These both statements I think is true. Unsystematic risk is a measure of beta. This is false. Systematic risk is a measure of beta. <coughs> A and B are true, I should think. The new fund offer dates are published in the scheme information document. No, they are mentioned in both key information document and scheme information document so number one is right which of the below statement is a, a important advantage of exchange traded fund a person can closely track current valuation of an etf and buy and sell the units of stock exchange at lower those prices number one is right as for MFI's code of ethics, an asset management company has to disclose which of the following schemes related information to the unit holder. Investment pattern, this has to be disclosed, annual portfolio turnover, annual securities transaction. I think A and B is right. It need not decure or disclose annual securities transactions. In which of these options can an investor expect a cash flow in his bank account, dividend payout? Which statement is false with reference to risk appetite? Risk appetite indicates level of risk that an investor is comfortable with. 
which statement is false with reference to risk appetite. Risk appetite can be assessed by risk profiling. Preferred risk appetite is different from ideal risk appetite. Risk appetite indicates level of risk that an investor is comfortable with. People of small age, same age will have same risk appetite. This is false. One of the common factors that many people use to evaluate the investor's risk profile is the investor age. It is popularly believed that younger investors have the potential of taking higher risk compared to old people. However, this may not be correct as different investors have different financial goals at a different age level. In fact, investors in the same age group may also have different goals. The financial situation may also differ. In such cases, it may not be prudent to categorize the investors on the basis of age alone. If an investor wants to get monthly performance and portfolio data on mutual fund, which of the following documents should be read? Acid, fund fact sheet, came asai. It should be fund fact sheet. For how long is the trail commission paid to the mutual fund investor? Till the money is held in the mutual fund. For first year, for first three years, for first ten years. It is till the money is held in the mutual fund. Identify the true statement. Rolling returns are the average annualized returns calculated for alternate holding period. Holding period returns do not provide an accurate picture of returns of funds if its initial value is high or lower. I think one and two are right, wrong. Only the second one is right. Holding period returns do not provide an accurate picture of returns of fund if its initial value is high or low. What is asset allocation? Deciding how to invest money across various asset categories in line with one's risk profile, financial objective and current situation. So C is right. Which of these funds has highest risk? Guilt, index, money market, sector fund, sector fund. Which of these statements is or false with respect to benchmark? Portfolio concentration is an important factor while selecting a benchmark for an equity and mutual fund. This is false. Choice of investment universe is not an important factor while selecting an appropriate benchmark for debt mutual fund. I think both A and B are false. Only B is false. Choice of investment universe is not an important factor while selecting an appropriate benchmark for debt mutual fund. Explanation. Choice of investment universe is important and drives the choice of benchmark in debt scheme. For example, liquid scheme invest in securities up to 91 days maturity. Therefore, a short term money market benchmark such as NSE may borrow a crystal liquid fund is suitable. The opening of time stamping machine needs to be documented and reported to trustees. What does negative alpha mean? It indicates underperformance by the fund manager. Securities and Exchange Board of India functions does not include which of the following. Approving the fund manager which has to be appointed by EMC. Dash is not a fair selling practice by major fund distributor, encouraging churning of investment. Identify the true statement. While calculating scheme returns for investor, if there is an entry load, then the initial value of net asset is taken as NAV plus entry load. <coughs> While calculating scheme returns for investor, if there is an exit load, then later value of the net asset value is taken as NAV plus exit load. Number one is right. Once a new fund offer closes, an open-ended mutual fund is open for purchase. 
once a new fund offer closes an open ended mutual fund is open for purchase by existing and new investors an investor in india is investing in us dollar based funds he she shall get benefit when us dollar becomes stronger how is the redemption transaction of a mutual fund priced is nav minus exit load identify the true statement with respect to tracking error A tracking error is calculated as standard deviation of the excess return generated by the fund. This is true. While comparing different index funds, one should invest in a fund with higher tracking record. Both A and B are true. Only A is true. Reason. tracking error is a measure of consistency of the out performance of a fund manager related to the benchmark tracking error has to be low for consistently out performing fund while investing in an index fund one should invest in a fund with lowest tracking error invest question number 50 investments are carried at dash in a mutual fund portfolio at market price Thank you friends for watching my video. Hello and welcome to my channel. This video is about NISM mutual fund playlist. This will help you a lot to clear NISM mutual fund distributors exam. This one is kind of a mock test which is a 100 multiple choice questions. So we'll get to practice all these questions along with the answers. Let's start the test. As per SEBI regulations, a mutual fund should have at least dash investors: ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Twenty is the right answer. Mutual fund is. units issued against purchase transaction would be subject to levy of stamp duty at the rate of the amount invested it is 0.05% to whom does the profit of loss made by mutual fund belong investor amc fund manager trustee its investor What action has to be taken before dealing a default bank account from the registered bank account in a mutual fund folio? Number one, a new folio will have to be opened with the same joint holding as the new default account. Another account has to be designated as the default bank account. All the nominees of the mutual fund scheme have to sign on the change from irrespective of the mode of holding. Number two is right. Another account has to be designated as default account. Question number five: The asset management company have to disclose the total expense ratio (TER) of the various schemes on their websites on a daily, weekly, monthly, or annual basis. It is daily basis. Financial goals have to be defined in terms of time horizon and external funds required, cost and economic policies, aspirations and desires, time horizon and the money needed. Fourth is a correct answer. The first step in goal setting for an investor is to identify events in the life which will require funding, like marriage of childrens. education 
buying a vehicle, etc. The next step is to assign priorities which of these events are more important than the others. After that, one need to assign a timeline as well as amount of funding required at the time of such event. Question number 7. If the sale and purchase transaction for a year amounted to 10,000 crore, the average size of net asset is 5,000 crore. This means that the investment are held in portfolio on an average for 2 months, 3 months, 6 months or 12 months. They are held on an average for 6 months. Portfolio turnover ratio is calculated as value of purchase and sale of securities during a period divided by the average size of net asset of the scheme during the period. That is 10,000 crore divided by 5,000 crore that is equal to 2. 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6 months. Investors tend to extrapolate the current event into future and expect a repeat. This is an example of what kind of bias? Overconfidence, recency, herd mentality, familiarity, recency. Recency bias, the impact of recent event on decision making can be very strong. This applies equally to positive and negative experience. Investors tend to extrapolate the event into the future and expect a repeat. A beer market or a financial crisis lead people to prefer safe assets. Similarly, a bull market people allocate more than what is advised for risky assets. The recent experience overrides analysis and decision making. Question number 9. Dash is a proper benchmark for balanced hybrid fund. 